So do you want to tell people what tomatoes are? Oh, <laughs> are there a fruit or a vegetable? Is that has that been settled? Gosh, <laughs> uh, it's we're gonna go with fruit. Okay, so I mean, many probably some of your listeners will have heard of the Pomodoro technique, where it's just like a way of structuring time, where you focus on something for a short period, of time, take a break, focus again, take a longer break. So it's just a way of pacing so that you don't deplete your mental capacity and focus. And then alongside this is, you know, you could just have the time part and that would, you know, I work for 25 minutes and then I take a break. So I do Pomodoro's and that's a way to structure your time. But you can add a couple of layers to that and like setting goals that you can accomplish in 25 minutes. So it helps like divide complex tasks into simpler pieces. And and that's part of the way that part of the, I guess, that solution, but it's an approach in increasing like productivity, I guess, or just, you know, it just simplifies the problem because you just made the mental effort of like ch chopping it into like smaller chunks that you can accomplish. And then by, and then it, you get the, the, the little boost of like, because you just accomplished something and then you do it again, 25 minutes. So just, just by doing these <clears throat> simple exercises, I guess you, uh, you can get a lot more done in a day. And it's just, it's not because I'm obsessed with, with productivity and get, squeezing more of your lemon, more out of your lemon, but it's because I'm obsessed with time. And I think time is a resource that we don't have enough of. So why would you take three days to something that you can do in one without, of course. So I think it's just, you know, that's why I like to do tomatoes. We get, you get stuff done. Yeah, yeah. Part two, Ooh. Tomato Fridays. It's not just me in my office in the dark, like uh, setting a timer and doing tomatoes. It's a collective thing where we add the layer of social pressure. Because if you're by yourself and you set yourself a tomato, no, 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 it's community. Not no, 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 community. Okay, community. Uh, of course. So we chat and we talk about our goals that we set for the next tomato. We put them on the board and then like say, okay. And then when the timer stops, hey, Sam, did you finish your tomato? And Sam says, yes, I did. And we scratch it and we have a round of applause. And then so we, during the break, we relax a little bit and celebrate our success for the past 25 minutes. And then we set our next our next goals and we repeat. And then we go for beers at the end of the day. And it's just an entire day of the place. It's both social. I like to say that it's, it's both the most social and the most productive time of the week. And it, usually those things don't correlate, but somehow in the tomatoes, it's like magic, right? It's the best of both worlds combined. We are doing, getting shit done and feeling good about ourselves, heading into the weekend without a full plate because we, and you get to socialize with your friends and have beer. It's kind of an amazing thing. I've been doing this for several years of just, uh, and, I, and I implemented this here at Dow because, because I wanted to, and it's a success and a lot of people um, attend these things and that's what Tomato Fridays are and you should try it. Totally. Yeah, if you're listening to this uh, and you want to join Tomato mm -hmm. Fridays, it's not where just the profs get together. It's profs, grad students, uh, undergrads are welcome. So yes, yeah, like it's a good accountability measure, but really it's just, it's worked to, uh, what is it? Work disguised as fun, really, or fun. It's, no, it's yeah, not even disguised. Word. Work is fun, Sam. Why it does it have be. to be? Yeah, exactly. It can be, but I will say, so as a, a numbers gal, I... Uh, who's in her doctorate right now, um, it's difficult to sit down with a blank screen or it's difficult to sit down and start writing and start kind of developing. Um, you know, there's a place where you know you want to go and a place that you are. And it's really nice to have, you know, that sense of community or that social pressure to break down your project into lots of little things and then be able to say, uh, and by the way, you're too generous because I'm always like, I got a third of my tomato done, right? Because I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out what is a task that I can actually accomplish in 25 minutes. And people cheer just as loud for the third of a tomato as they do for somebody that fills in all their tomatoes all the time. That's true. That is true. It's all about support. That's like shame. Yeah. Nah.